Let's play some mash ball. In order to decide who goes first, one member from each team tosses a ball at the same time, and the player that gets it closest to the front hole goes first. When the game begins, each player on each team gets one toss per turn. If a ball is made in a hole, then the other team should remove the ball and plug the hole. The end goal is to be the first to make all 10 holes. If both players make a ball on the same turn, then the ball should be returned to the tossing team for another consecutive turn, not allowing the opposing team to have a turn. This process is known as balls back. If both balls are made in the same hole by each player, then the tossing team should choose three holes for the opposing team to plug and get balls back. Each team is allowed one rearrangement of plugs in order to make a more favorable arrangement. This includes being able to turn the box as well as move the plugs to whichever arrangement the team prefers. When the ball lands anywhere in front of the opposing team's half of the box, the tossing team can run and grab the ball before the opposing team, and if they do so, then the tossing player has the opportunity to toss the ball behind their back or with their opposite hand. Once a team makes all 10 holes, the opposing team can have a chance at redemption. In order to redeem themselves, the losing team gets one more toss, and if they make one of their remaining holes, then the game is back on, and the winning team's last hole is no longer plugged. Lastly, with redemption, sometimes comes overtime. If the losing team only has one hole left in redemption and makes the hole, then each team should reset the game and open the three front holes. Mash ball is primarily played with two teams of two players, but with a little creativity, you can play with more or less than two players.